Hello and welcome to a discussion on uh, use and phase transformation uh, based on Dante software, uh, but within Custom Weld. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar, Custom Weld is uh, an Abacus CAE plugin that uh, has been developed to take advantage of all the latest um, enhancements that DS had created for uh, 3D printing. All right, so so our our talk is going to be basically how uh, Custom Weld and, and Dante software have been integrated into a, a package to make uh, using the phase transformation very simple in welding simulations. All right, so here's just an example, a small test case um, showing. In, in this case, the, the temperatures and here stresses, here are the austenite uh, compositions, and displacement. Um, so phase transformations results in the region with different materials. So we can get the austenite, bainite, martensite, upper bainite, uh, ferrite, all of those different variations. Um, and capture an accurate variations resulting in the material properties of this distorted shape. And it's very important when you're uh, talking about doing fatigue calculations to know uh, what the phase transformation uh, has been. All right, so with Dante, uh, you know, it has all of the capabilities, you know, to, to handle the dilometry of the different phases. You know, you have the different, um, you have the, the, the dilation increasing as temperature, basically a thermal expansion type of behavior. And you have the phase transformation uh, into austenite, and then it cools down, and then it uh, reaches some point where it, it breaks up into other phases based on the temperature uh, rate. So all of those things are handled within uh, Dante. And, and Dante has, I mean, all the TTD and CT, CCT curves, um, although it doesn't. It has all of those for all the uh, library of materials, although it uses analytic expressions uh, to map between those. Um, just because it has a lot of flexibility, you know, if you want to enter grain sizes and carbon content and different um, uh, compositions, uh, so it uses uh, you know, the analytic expressions to 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 interpolate between those things. So, anyways. Um, so it handles the heat transfer, the deformation, all the phase transformation uh, uh, kinematics uh, that is involved with welding. All right, so to generate the model, it's actually very simple. Um, it, there, when we first create a, a weld model, you know, we give some, uh, some high-level properties. And in that case, is, if you are using Dante, this is the first place where you... Uh, sets and Dante controls. So the first one are just keyword descriptions, and if you're familiar with Dante, um, you, you'll you'll know uh, what most of these are. All right. So we have, but most of them have defaults. Uh, actually, all of them have defaults, and if, uh, usually you could just keep those as is. Okay. The next thing we do is we create a material uh, when we're creating our weld model, we say create a Dante material, we select a material, and then uh, Custom Weld will read your Dante installation and, and pull out some information to get the default uh, controls for a given material, like S10XX. It'll give the initial phases. It'll read the, the compositions, the grain sizes, and then the only thing you really have to fill in is the carbon content. All right, so just a list of uh, the standard alloys that are built into Dante. So um, we have 20 or 25 of them. Um, so uh, they they uh, contain all the necessary properties to f perform in the phase transformation properties, thermomechanical properties, carbon diffusion, nitrogen, uh, microstructural and alloy effects. Um, and, and Dante has a lot of capabilities when it comes to actually customizing uh, your materials. So if you have uh, uh, the experience to do that, you can generate your own uh, customized steel alloys. It's got a few of them built in, but uh, you can then generate on top of those. So.
So just a quick example of, um, yeah. so here's some of the controls th that are made available through custom weld. So, you know, the, the composition and your Molly composition. So compared from the, the nominal 0.2 to 1.2. So you see a, uh, chain, you know, quite a, uh, change in your CCT and TTT curves and all of that stuff is calculated automatically. So, all right. And then the other, only other place where you have to enter data for Dante is just output. Um, like, you know, with, with welding simulation, we want to store a lot of temperature data. So when we actually get to do the, uh, the stress model and we're reading in the temperature, we don't need to have any of the, phase transformation uh, quantity stored other than just temperature. So in the heat model, we can just select none and then custom weld will only, only store the temperature. And then when we do the stress model, then we can choose to output all the quantities of interest. Um, so, um, you know, we, and we have some defaults or we have all of them. All right, so just a couple of small examples. So in this case, uh, just a, a pipe intersection. So it's interesting that perlite and ferrolite volume fractions are shown. Um, perlite is uniform in the heat affected zone, no perlite in the weld. Um, ferrolite is not uniform. So we'll see that on the next slide. So more ferrolite formed later in the process when the base material is at a higher temperature. So that's what's interesting. We have these phases and they're not uniform throughout the weld. They vary quite dramatically just because the base material of the pipe is heating up as the weld process goes around the perimeter. All right, so we see uh, very significant differences in ferrite, bainite uh, around the perimeter. All right, so let's actually look at what a, what the model, what one of these models would look like inside of uh, custom weld. All right, so here's that one of those examples that we had just looked at. Um, so the first item up here is we choose under model attributes, we say we're going to use uh, Dante materials. And Dante's only got one set of materials. So when we select that, um, that's where we can set in the, the keywords. Um, and then we have to be consistent with our uh, default film and radiation conditions. Okay. We've got, you can look at this just to get a summary of the units that Dante uses. All right. So that's the first step. The next step uh, specific to Dante is when we choose a material, in this case, S41XX. So when we create a material, all of these things, as I said, are, are pre-populated. And then if you want to modify them based on information that you have, you can. And then the rest of the setup model, you know, where we're putting down four welds, um, you know, all the, the setting of the base material, all that stuff is, is really independent of Dante. The only um, item left that is specific to Dante is the output controls here. I'm just putting in the default. So then we just run uh, a model with uh, phase transformation, just like any other model. And let's um, look at results here. All right, so we can do, let's say this is plastic strain. We could do an animation on that. Okay, in this case, I've got four beads that go down at different times. They're not going down simultaneously. So this is just a buildup of plastic strain calculated by Dante. And now we have the second one going down. All right. And if we want to look at, let's say ferrite, we can see the evolution of the ferrite. And let's say austenite, that would be not terribly interesting, but we see as it cools down, the austenite fractions go to zero. All right, perlite, a little bit more interesting. Okay. So 
So it gives us a good idea of you know, the integration between Custom World and Dante is pretty seamless. I mean, you you define your initial um, keywords, you select the material, all the all the defaults are already filled in for you, and then you just request your output. So there's really not much to using it. Um, you know, all the properties um, are already uh, formulated and tested and calibrated by Dante itself. Uh, so it's uh, very easy to use. So anyways, uh, thank you much for, uh, so thank you very much for your attention. And if you have any questions regarding Custom Weld and, and how uh, it is integrated with Dante, please uh, feel free to contact me at info at Thanks.